Hey everyone, I haven't done one of these in a long time, but uh, my son got into Yu-Gi-Oh recently, so he wants to play. He thinks uh, the best decks are <laughs> Yu-Gi, you know, Dark Magician or uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon or Black Eyes Red Dragon. But uh, I was able to score this box right here for a pretty good deal, so I'm gonna see if I can how much of uh, Sky Strikers I can put together. So let's uh, let's get opening. Got this box on the cheap. Uh, yesterday, actually, uh, at a store that I frequent, or I used to frequent occasionally for work. So, anyway, we are looking for Sky Striker Engage and the Widow Anchor. So, the top two cards out of the set. So, let's get open. Booster and Wiz Sage for Hire. Okay. I'll do this. There we go. Eagle Booster. I think we're good on Eagle Boosters now. And Mayhem for Hire. I already got that because I bought three packs on my own. And I got that already in one of them. Yep. I had no idea how to play this game until my son decided to get into it. Um, there we go. Need three of these. So there's Ray. Hornet Drones. Going to need that one. And then Vampire's Domains are super cool. Yeah, he was. Uh, he's in the Beyblades, Pokemon all that good stuff and I came home one day and I uh, thought he was watching Beyblades and it turns out nope he was watching Yu-Gi-Oh no idea how to play myself until we started getting into it and I get it I understand why all you like it um, another one excellent Hornet Drones Zombie and for higher how I feel uh, this actually, um, this game premiered two months before I graduated college, so, yeah, not really, a little bit, a little bit before my time, but, uh, my son likes it, and I don't mind playing with him. My problem with playing with him, oh, I'm gonna hold that one, Magical Citadel, okay, is, uh, he does not know how to read yet, so he likes me to read his cards, and, no, <laughs> The carrot is you learn to read and we'll give you cards and we will play with you. Quick booster what we get. Jamming. Okay. Yeah, some people have that as a one of or a zero of depending on their decks, but uh, we shall see. Another jamming, damn it. All right, well, we'd rather two engages, but uh, my kids are gonna get the extras of these <laughs> that I don't use. So, and desire. Let's clean up these piles a little bit here. I wanna do this opening kind of quick so we can look at, uh, look at our spoils. Oh, this turns out to be the unlimited course it doesn't say first edition uh, right there and that's silver and it doesn't say it on the pack anywhere um, got this box for 80 bucks not disappointed in that or vamp foolish barrel goods I might need that for the deck and vampire okay not disappointed in that price um, considering you can still find them occasionally in Walmart for four dollars a pack. So, yeah, not that bad. Not bad at all. It's another foolish, depending on how you do the engine. It's Kagari, your first one of those. A zero, and then oh good, that's the uh, cover art vampire there for those keeping score at home. We got two of those. Pretty cool. 
Almost done with this side. No widow anchors. No engages yet, but uh, as they say, hard the cards. <laughs> Zero space. Reinforcement the army. Mystic tomato. And a fur hire. Okay. All right. Last one on the right side. We'll do the left side. Reinforcement army. I think that's a one of in the deck that I was looking at. Vampire familiar. Mobile. There we go. That's the one we're looking for. Going for uh, about $45, $40 on TCG Player for the Unlimited. So, excellent. We got one. Would love to get another one in this box or Widow Anchor. I'll make this box pay for itself. <laughs> Familiar. Go for Foolish Burial. Vamp. And another Wissage. Okay, so we're not going to get a whole set in here. Of, uh, so, that's the second Wissage, second box cover guy. So we're definitely not going to get a full set, unfortunately. It's a 60 card set. 20 of the secret rares, and I think 40 ultras. Foolish Burial, the Vamp, the base, I already got one of those. And Vampire's Desire, okay. Alright, oops. Spilling cars here. Base. Tune table, or and okay, shark cannon would need that. Definitely, that's a one of, maybe a two of in the deck, depending. Suppose it's supposed to be good for the mirror match, so definitely just want my sky strikers. Up, darkness, vampire, spell grasp, for higher. Okay, bad, not bad. Just glad we got that. At least one engage makes it lessens the blow here. Power domination. What's this one do? Let's see. Opponents, monsters, close and attack, shuffle all opponents. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. But that might be a good card half. Multi-roll, that's one definitely needed for the deck. And where's that? Yeah. Excellent. So, sorry if you can hear that behind me. My neighbors like to shoot fireworks on days ending in Y in the summertime. So, so there's another zero and fur higher, fur higher. Okay. So I guess I can make a zombie deck or a fur higher deck out of this too. Watched uh, videos to learn to play. Also bought the Legendary Hero decks um, to teach myself to play and uh, teach our son to play. So that's uh, more important. He really, really wants to go to a tournament. Apologize, you can hear a dog barking in the back. Recording in a, a room here. Looks like we got another vampire. Okay, got one of those already in one of the three packs I opened off camera. Picked up three packs randomly at Walmart, so I see packs there. I try to buy them of the, the set because I really want to make a Sky Striker deck <laughs> just to have one. Recon, Shadow, Scapegoat, Vampire's Domain. Okay. All right. Two packs remaining. Let's get a Widow Anchor. Come on. Or an Engage. I'll take one. Give me one. Yeah, I like that saying in the cartoon, the heart of the cards, you know, be in clutch when you need it. Vampire retainer. Yep, I already got that. Okay. Last pack. Let's see what we can get here. Retainer, koala, vampire, vampire, and a fur out of here. Okay, well, no big deal. Let's move these out of the way. So our super secret rares, ultra rares, and then the cards I want to talk about a little bit here. So we got our multi-roll. That's important. Our engage. 
put her right there. I think we got four of those. Yep, there are five. Okay. Five of the zero area, area zero, excuse me. That's important for the deck. I think that's either two or three of, depending on what list you're playing. Our reinforcement, the army, that's definitely a one of, maybe a two, so definitely be keeping that one. There's our Kagari. Okay. Got two rays. I've only saved two of these as, uh, for the engine. Uh, I think I got three in the box. So three forced burials and then two hornet drones. Okay. So anyway, um, if I do some more videos, it's probably going to be uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh related because my son's into it. Um, and uh, he likes it. It's uh, not a bad game. Uh, hats off to Konami because I understand why it's uh, very popular. I mean, when you have a TV show, a cartoon based around the card game and then you have people playing the card game um, for the actual TV show and then you release cards um, yeah that's a instant hit I, I totally get it so um, anyway let me know what you think of the uh, the video let's take a take a look at her so I'm gonna be putting together Sky Striker uh, to play my son and show him and to teach help teach him to read and to think um, for himself uh, he'll be He's uh he's six now. He'll be turning seven, and I do plan to take him to um, a Dragon Duel event at uh, one of the tournaments uh, to get his feet wet because he really likes to play <laughs> a lot more than I do. Uh, anyway, you all have a good night. Thanks.